Hey guys, it's Karen. I am doing a flip through of my little minis, which will be available tomorrow on my Facebook page, Karen's Creation Creations, Karen's Art 17, I believe, if you search it. Um, I'll try to leave the link below if I remember. Um, first of all, I want to say excuse my voice because I am getting over a pretty bad cold or bug or whatever it was earlier this week. So I'm trying to fight off coughing, so I don't want to do that on camera. <laughs> but anyway, basically all of these have the same thing in them. They have two folders and four inserts and just little bits and pieces that I add to it to decorate it. Um, I may do a video and show you what I'm using for this month, actually, because this is kind of decorated for fall. This is a micro Happy Planner notebook that I fixed up. Um, for myself because I love the size. I like the small ones, but usually for Christmas I go a little bit bigger. And this is a rings personal size. This will be the one I'm <clears throat> going to use pretty soon. All right, I'm going to kind of explain a little bit in one of these what everything, what what they all have, and then from there on out I'm probably not going to talk. So I'm sorry. I just don't want to cough. Because I know it's aggravating when you're trying to watch a YouTube video. <clears throat> these are made from marine vinyl, except for these two. These are made from vinyl, um, excuse me, paper, but they are laminated. And these are all laminated down here. So um, most of them, well, actually all of them have shakers. All of them have at least one piece of vellum. And some of them have stickers. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I do put pockets in all of them, and they are machine stitched. The size, if you want to add or take or take out or whatever you want to do, uh, the size of this one would be one and a half by two inches tall. So I never ever attach the insert paper to the cover. So you can always remove this if you mess up or if you you know write little notes in here and you want to take it out you can always add more to that without messing up the covers so let's flip through this one really quickly um i love this one this is the pink christmas paper from michael's and your first insert i normally just put plain paper this year i decided to do something a little different so i love making inserts in um, photoshop so I made a tiny little weekly, and you have four weeks, so just enough for <clears throat> for Christmas if you want to use it. You don't have to use it, but they will come with this in it. You can replace it with just lined paper if you want to. And they all come with this shaker, and here's your first folder. And this is just a line insert for your second um, insert. I hope I said that right. And that's the middle. That's so cute. The next insert, <clears throat> I made a little Christmas gift list and that's just so cute. You know, these things are, are kind of cool if you just write down what you want to get and you just throw it in your purse. They're so tiny. Um, it might get lost in your purse though. <laughs> And this is your second folder. And the last insert would be a Christmas bucket list. So each one of these will have the same inserts. And I'm just going to kind of flip through them without talking too much. This one is chunky because for some reason this vinyl is very thick. It's very sturdy. Um, so these always come out a little bit bigger. And they are really packed full of stuff
This is a pocket. <clears throat> it is made from, um, I think in Target I bought in the dollar spot. They have little uh, long sticker pockets. So I bought some of those and they fit in here just perfect. So as long as you don't, and they stick really well. Uh, I can't even get it open. But as, and they're removable. So if you pull up on this really hard, the edge might peel back just a little bit. So I would suggest just sliding paper in and out. And that's a little sticker which you can remove if you don't want it there. But these are removable, like I said. And there's another one on the back. <clears throat> this one does look a lot like my unicorn minis, but it's not. <laughs> it is definitely made for Christmas or the ho winter holidays. I love that washi tape. So cute. <clears throat> it's another little pocket. If you could just see how chunky these are in person. <laughs> Very chunky. Right, I'm going to make sure I show the front. And this is supposed to be a knitted sweater. This, this one's really cute. And I notice there's a little a mark on the glitter paper, so I'll put another sheet in there. <clears throat> and with any craft, um, 
that I do or anybody does, they're not totally 100% perfect. So they're, you will see maybe a minor um, imperfection. But I try to make them as close as perfect as I can. They're very tedious, but they are so fun to make and the results are just too adorable. <clears throat> this is another very chunky book. I'm probably going to go back through on, I need to put another, another piece of paper in here and put gold washi tape down <clears throat> the side of this one because I didn't have any. So I had to run out to Michael's and get some. So I put a little bit of gold in there too, because everything is foil on the paper and stickers, gold foil. So it just make it look cuter. This one is really cute, kind of whimsical on the inside. Um, this I didn't tape down. If you want to tape it down, you can with double-sided sticky tape. Because sometimes, I know you like to move, well, people like to move stuff around. So, um, if you want me to, if you purchase this one and you want me to put the tape down, I can. All right, I'm going to pause this for a second and then we'll move on to these. Okay, these I made a little bit bigger because I love the size. So <clears throat> they're a little bit smaller than this, but I figured people could write in this easier than they can in those. <laughs> so <clears throat> the insert size, these are four inches tall and the insert size on the inside are two and a half inches wide. So if you need to replace that, that's what size your paper should be. Um, I did put some little paper clips on here, but I kind of put some washi tape on them so I wouldn't make a mark on the laminated paper. I mean the um, covers for the inserts because sometimes it will leave a mark and you may want to move it somewhere else. And these are so cute. So you can see the different size. Uh, the spine is three quarter inches and I just add some little beads on all of them most of the time and these are chunky I'm going to tell you um, you probably will not be able to add anything to this so uh, I'm always overfilling my traveler's notebooks there is a pocket right here <clears throat> it's actually well, let me see if I can get something to slide in here so you can see it 
Oh, I know there's a pocket here. There we go. So there you go. That's just laminated one, a laminated pocket. This one is so adorable. Now these I did only put either lime paper or graph paper. They do not have any personalized little um, inserts on the inside. But I love them. I think I need to make me one. <laughs> This is just a little pocket folder. And this is supposed to be like a newspaper print. So cute. So you do have four inserts in this one also. All the graph or lawn paper. That's the middle. Oh my goodness. I think this is my favorite one. And see, I just tape with washi tape. <clears throat> and honestly, if I would have really thought about it, I think this is silver. But um, you can move this around if you want to. Because if I, I just kind of figured I need to start doing that with these because they will leave marks on your um, little cover here. And they're made from heavy sheet protectors. There's another pocket folder with the knitted sweater. I guess that's a cable sweater. This one is going to be hard to part with. <laughs> now this is another kind of whimsical I'm really cute and fun images on the inside with the scrap paper and you have another pocket <clears throat> and I did put a pocket on the back of the of all of them too so if I didn't say that one in the first one little folder it's just another little insert your second one and I tape that one down also If I can get this to move around a little bit so you can kind of see what's in there I'll try not to put too much in here because it will make the um, get too thick and I won't let the book close right or the planner <clears throat> this would look very cute with red on the outside but if you see the inside you will understand why I only did gold and black because this one is all gold and black in your pocket <clears throat> I don't know if you can tell but the little dots are foil gold foil so it's really cute person honestly I think I will keep making this size because I really do like it. 
and I may even not anytime soon but I may even make inserts to go in here too <clears throat> And this just reminds me of a little, I guess, snow, snowball. Because this one it does have like a winter, a lot of winter stuff in it. And the little, that just reminds me of like an ice cube. <laughs> so I put that little clear square um, bead on there. And this one has all the silver foil. It's really cute. And this washi tape just reminded me of snow. So I kind of put that one in here with the silver. I don't know if you can, you can really, yeah, you can see it pretty good. It's just, it looks a lot better in person. <clears throat> your first folder another pocket and that is it guys um, like I said if you can hop over to my Facebook page Karen's creations Karen's art 17 you can find out all the information that you need to know on these prices um, when they go up shipping everything on there um, United States only and I think that's everything um, I want to do a couple of B6s, and I'm hoping I can maybe get a few done before Christmas, but I might make some more of these because I like this size so much. And I don't know about minis. I might hold off on these until after the first of the year. I don't know yet. We'll see how things go. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this flip through, and thank you for subscribing to my channel, and I look forward to another video.